Hey guys, Jake here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at and I'm going to show you how to use the Ericsson tie down straps. It's specifically designed to tie down your car inside an enclosed trailer or an open trailer. It's going to utilize the e-track technology. It's going to have three connection points. You'll have one here at the back for your ratchet strap. You'll have a pulley up behind your wheel and then you'll also have one in front of the wheel. What's going to separate this strap is it's going to have this pulley, like we mentioned, it's going to allow you to get your strap in a more straight down orientation rather than having your ratchet ride along your tire. So this is going to be a lot better for those lower profile cars where you want to keep the ratchet plenty far away from your tire. The straps are going to be two inches in diameter and be made out of a woven polyester material and have a brake strength of 3,300 pounds and a safe working load of 1,100 pounds. Well, something I like that Ericsson did with their straps is they changed it up a little bit by making the straps blue. It's gonna be a nice bright blue color that will add to the looks of your vehicle and trailer. So when you open up that trailer door, when you get to your car show or wherever you might be going, people are gonna notice that your vehicle is properly strapped down. Another nice thing that Ericsson added, which is just an extra step to ensure that your vehicle is safe, they added these red tabs to be able to hold the rubber bumper from sliding too far one way or another. And this is going to allow even distribution of those rubber pads on your tire. I personally like these straps a lot because they're going to give you that superior strength when wanting to hold your car in one place when headed down the road. I'm not going to have to worry about my car going anywhere or getting damaged when I get there. You can buy these straps individually if you do so happen to have one that breaks or if you just need an additional strap. Or you can buy the kit which is going to have two wheel chocks and two straps. However. I would recommend, if you plan on hauling a car, I would recommend picking up two additional straps in addition to the kit. These chocks are going to install in your e-track just like any other e-track accessory. It's going to give you a regular stopping point so you know where to stop your car. These are going to be a nice accessory because you're not going to have to measure to make sure your car is back in the same place that you had it when you hauled your car there. They're also going to be very easily removable so that when you're not hauling your car, you can remove them and use your trailer as you will. Well guys, now that we've gone over some of the features that's going to set these straps apart from other straps, let's go ahead and show you how easy they are to get installed. The easiest way i found to get it up and over your tire is to lay it out in a straight line behind the tire and then you can grab your front clasp and take it up and over your tire and then work it along your wheel well. What you're going to do is you're going to take your clasp and run it up the center of your tire and then feed the strap in as you run your hand along the wheel well. So then you'll take your clasp and clamp it into the e-track. Next thing you're going to do when positioning the strap on your tire is you're going to take these two triangular teeth and run them in the center groove on all three of your rubber bumpers here on your strap. These are going to ensure that your strap will stay centered on your tire when going down the road. Now we're going to take our pulley and clamp it inside. You want to do it a couple of e-track spots away from your tire so that there's no chance that your tire is going to make contact with that pulley. And we can pull out the slack and we can take our ratchet, run it through that slot, and then back over and pull out the slack. Now we'll take our clamp, hook it into our e track, pull out the rest of the slack. Now we can take that, pull our release handle and start cranking. There we go. Now we can tie up the excess. You're going to want to repeat this process for all four tires. I always would recommend using four straps when hauling a vehicle in your trailer. 
Well guys, once you have your ratchet trap safely secured and you know your car is not going to go anywhere, you're ready to hit the road. With that being said, that's going to do it for a look and installation of our Ericsson tie-down straps.